another episode of The Naked Agent. When I, when we were taking a look and we were talking everything, I, I realized you guys are so business, business centric, especially on social media and your personal life and everything. But the big thing that I took away from it is you're a family guy. Like we talked about, you've got your 16 year old son, so you've got your, your, your 20 year old son in college and everything. And then you've got your wife. And I saw that you guys work together. I mean, that, that, is it difficult working with your spouse day in and day out? You go to work, you, you're here. You come home, it's here. So wow. at, at times it, it is, but you know what? It's, it's like being with your best friend, right? Because you're, you're together, you're, you're, you know, you want to hang out for the most part. Uh, but in real estate, we're, we're rarely at one place very long. But we're doing our job right, we're out showing homes, we're out listing homes, we're out marketing, we're out um, uh, networking, we're out doing those types of things. So you're busy, it's go, 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 it, go. It is go, and, and so we purposely, there's times when we go through the day that we don't just constantly talk and send lovey emojis and all that stuff because we gotta have something to talk about when we get home. Um, and it, it, it actually works out really well. Awesome. I noticed on there you had an article which my wife and I are super passionate about, which was technology in the workplace. You and I have to use technology in the workplace. And, and, and we've got a three-year-old, so I'm gonna ask you for a little fathering, parental advice and everything. And by the time my kid gets there, it's probably all virtual reality. It's gonna be nice. How do you transition from saying, we've gotta use technology in the workplace to kids, hey, that happy work-life balance with technology? With us, it's always been about structured time and togetherness, and, and time is the number one thing. I mean, that's the number one thing you can do. Do you put a timer on it where it stops it because you've got that device? No, 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 but it's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a scheduled piece that, okay. you know, every day there's a hug, and every day there's an I love you, and every day there's a there's a, there's there's some quality time, and there, there's there's conversations. You find his interests, absolutely, and and you feed off of that, even though it's something that maybe you don't get. And, and when you said, "Hey, we have a hug every day," and I didn't almost bring it to your mind, but that's pretty cool because that reminds me of growing up and watching what's the Walton Family or you know Bucky or whatever. And I don't know why I heard that all growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, it's just like. We, we've lost those values, man. Yeah. And and to hear that there's other working class families obviously out there that that's still super passionate about, I think that's great. And we're trying to do that with our son. So we're gonna do a fire of five. Question number one, what is the best quality of a dog? The love and affection that they give you every day. Nice. So number two, if you weren't in real estate, what would you be doing? I'd be coaching high school football or hopefully college football. That'd nice. Nice, all right, good, good, good. Question number three, here comes the curveball. Rangers or Cowboys? Ooh, tough one. The one who's winning the most of the time is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> but, if, but if I have to choose, uh, you know, I think I love the Rangers better. Cool, 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 cool. All right, question number four. You're back in high school. In what class do you pay more attention? Um, thank the Lord for Mrs. Hall, my typing teacher. She forced me to type, and it makes my life so much oh, easier now. I heard that. Question number five: What is your favorite fast food French fry? Fast food French fry. Well, overall, it'd be Houston's here in Dallas, which is amazing. Uh, fast food French fry. I really don't eat French fries anymore. I'm trying to treat them a little bit. It's hard to lose <laughs> that weight, but it's got to be McDonald's or Whopper. Give me McDonald's. Wow, McDonald's, McDonald's. All right, fire out five out.